cut priming the white parts. I just finished sanding them down, cleaning it up, uh, getting that ready to paint the um, the uh, rose gold. Now, I, um, somebody asked me something about my airbrush. I'm sorry, my airbrush, my spray, my waterfall, where it's acting a little bit weird and doesn't look like it's supposed to be doing. I just cleaned it up again, and I don't know if there's a problem with the actual uh, the actual pump or the mechanism of the device. I've uh, I actually cleaned up the pump as best as I could. I poured the exact amount of water that I've always been using. This is one of the parts of one of the things that I've heard some people say that they uh, they're not liking how this um, this waterfall is producing. Because lately, when I was there, when I was priming the other parts, I was getting um, a little bit of backdraft of the actual of the actual primer. Um, uh, right now, I have a fan. Oh, by the way, I have a tissue right on top of my microphone, so I don't know if it's muffling my voice. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'll find out when I listen to this audio. Um, but right now, I just wanted to show, do this first to get this out of the way. I have, I have the um, anti-static brush nearby where I'm passing it over it, you know, onto the side and then I'm going to paint the parts, you know, just to remove there's no particles. But going back to the spray booth, um, yeah, I cleaned it. I don't have the air fan on, it just for whatever reason... The water is pooling up in the way in the way where it's not flowing. I don't know if there's something in there. I didn't think about. It. You know what? I just realized that right now. Once I'm done priming all these parts, I'm going to, you know, disassemble it. See if there's any anything blocking it. And then uh, that way, that should give me enough time for the uh, white parts to finish drying. And then we will then begin the, the fun stuff. So let me finish this up, and then we'll move on to that to that segment of the paint job. Okay, so turns out, and I'm gonna have to adjust the camera a bit. This little bar here, it was pushing out this way, and the water was pooling up and spitting out here. So all I had to do was push it in, and now everything's flowing fine. There was no, um, there was no disrupting of anything up there. Just that this was pushed out a bit. It pushed it in. It works fine. It is flowing fine. So that part is good. Fixed it. But now the fun begins. I am going to start painting using rose gold MX11 which I've already prepared on this bottle. It's in my reservoir, right here. I'm gonna do maybe 30, maybe 25 PSI. I know it should be a little lighter. But we're gonna see how well we can capture all this. Now, like other metallic paints, one would say use a back, uh, use a um, black base, uh, use a black base on your part before you put them on. Not true. However, because of the pigmentation that's so strong on this, you don't need that as long as you have a, a solid surface. Now. I have my brush here, which I have it right on the um, on the holder where it holds up my airbrush. And what I do is I take apart, take the part, I pass it right under the brush, clean it up, and begin. But let me zoom in, in a bit. And let's see how it works overall. Let's spray and press. I don't know if 
you guys can see that. Okay, that came out good. Remember, we're going to be doing multiple layers, so it's not like we're going to be uh, spraying once and that's it. Just make sure we got the nice coverage here. get all the part, not just the areas that's going to be exposed. You know what, I'm going to try something here because it's so, I don't know if you guys can see it. doing a little bit higher pressure. Look at that shine. Ooh, yeah. Great. GN drive. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Stay there. Where's, I had a clip here. Uh, but where are you, where are you, where are you? Just started a moment ago. And there you are. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, a black face where it's nice and smooth and shiny, maybe it's a good idea. But if you've already, you know, uh, primed it and the primer is nice and smooth on your part, then go with it. Oh, I ran out. 
didn't realize that. Close out a bit. Right. If any of these use these type of paints before, tell me your experience because I have not had any disappointing. I'm not. I'm, I'm, yeah, what am I saying? <laughs> I've never been disappointed using the Moto paint, especially the Rose Gold. It's a, a fun paint to try. And I'm gonna try the, uh, you know, maybe there's another color out there that's nice and met very cute metallic. Cute metallic, what am I saying? I'm gonna say, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know if it's a, um, a gunmetal Moto. I'll have to check. Some parts, when I do a, a, a review, I'll flip around the area so that way I can get the other, you know, paint other areas of the kit, of the part, so that way I don't have to worry about this, you know, if I miss something. One more. Uh, actually, we're gonna do two more. The face mask. Okay. And then the ever important head. Notice a notch there just now as I was painting it. I must have missed it. I think <clears throat> I think the head crown covers it. But I'll wait until it dries. I'll give it a light sanding or maybe use a hobby knife to clean it. And then I'll repass it again. And then we'll, we'll move on. Alright, so I have a lot more parts to work with. The MX-11 is doing its job to the fullest. I am going to have a nice time painting all this. I'm glad that my spray booth is functioning the way it's supposed to be. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next color, which covers the blue parts and turn it into bloody red. So stay tuned for that. Okay, guys? So let me finish this up. So here's a closer look at the parts that I just finished painting and as I was reviewing my video I didn't realize that my goddamn dumb knuckles were covering up the actual painting of this uh, and uh, didn't realize that but let me show you a close-up shot of this here is what it looks like up close look how shiny and brilliant this color is Nice and smooth, very little in in uh, in particles. Absolutely stunning. Normally, I reserve me showing you everything on the table when everything is all done. I'm not I'm not there yet. I haven't finished complete uh, painting the uh, the uh, other colors. But I just want to you guys see this firsthand how it looks.
you know, how far I went with this. Didn't realize this thing has an ugly little face. <laughs> Look at that. You have to appreciate a color like this. So if you guys want to make your own Trans Am kit, get this. MX11. I am not going to stop praising it, kind of like how I don't stop praising uh, Titan's Blue 1. It is the paint to use to make what you want. Okay. Let me move on. <laughs> 